Hello, I'm just sharing out to a couple. Hang on while I share. I'm doing an instant pot recipe and I just wanted a couple of instant pot people to see. Hello guys, welcome to Nana's Kitchen. I'm Dorothy from Rossville, Georgia. And I'd like to welcome you. And today we are going to make some um, um, cabbage rolls in, in the Instant Pot. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that in a couple of stages. I've got things in a couple of places. The first thing we're going to start with so that we can put it to the side. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Lucille. How are y'all today? What did you do on this beautiful day? see if I can turn that just a little more. Nope, y'all got to be able to see. Try to get everything in. Okay, so guys, if you're watching me live, you'll know that there's a live in the button. Put a one in the comments and tell me where you're watching from. I always love to see where everybody is coming from. Um, so we're doing, yes, the cabbage rolls. I have a, quite a bit of a group here today and um, I wanna put those cabbage rolls into the Instant Pot. So let's get started. So I've done some of the prep work. So let me talk about the prep work that I've done. Um, so I put my head of cabbage, I cored my head of cabbage, okay? And I put it with one cup of water and I put it in my microwave for eight minutes. And so it, it was in my microwave for eight minutes covered and I've pulled that out and it is cooling down. Hey, Selena, hey, Kim, we are doing cabbage rolls in the uh, Instant Pot. Hey, Pam. All right, so while that ha cabbage is cooling, let's uh, just put some sauce together. I have one cup of um, vegetable broth. You could use beef broth if that's what you want. So I have one cup of vegetable broth. We're going to use 28 ounces or one large can of crushed tomatoes. Selena, how is your family? Pam, how's yours? Trying to move things out of our way as I go through so that you can keep seeing. I am going to put about a half a teaspoon of salt, but you do it to your taste. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Diane. I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, half a teaspoon, guys. But if you like yours a little more garlicky, garlicky, add more. Okay. And I am going to put one teaspoon of oregano. Canning beets. Ooh. I bet you're tired. It's hard to stand that long to do all that. Love the smell of oregano. I'm going to put two tablespoons of olive oil. whatever vinegar you want to use. Um, white vinegar, red wine vinegar, wine if you want it. I'm going to use a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to give this a toss and set it aside. Hey Brenda, we're making cabbage rolls today. Welcome. I figured you were at work. I just want to get this put into 
the Instant Pot so it will be ready for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna set that aside. Now I'm going to mix the meat, okay? I have my ground beef, just a pack of ground beef here. Um, hey Stephanie, how are you? Um, I'm gonna guess that's about two pounds. I didn't look. We buy ours in bulk and I break it up into chunks and that's just how we do it. All right, so into here, again, about a half a teaspoon of salt. Lost my teaspoon. Gonna do a teaspoon of the onion powder. Teaspoon of the, I used half in the sauce, but I want to really flavor that meat. Hey Debbie, how are you? About a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. And you're gonna hear my grandson in the background coming in. He's been in a blow up pool with his mom. Butter, the, oh, the butter shrimp asparagus recipe. That is so easy. One pot, no problem. Um, and a teaspoon of Italian seasoning this time. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. One second. <sighs> My tablespoon had oil on it that time. All right. And now, all that's left to add to it is my cauliflower. And I'm gonna add about a cup and a half to two cups of my cauliflower. Mine is um, just frozen rice cauliflower. Hey, Michelle. And I'm gonna mix this all in together. Probably we'll put a glove on because that's going to be the easiest way to mix it, but we'll see. Yeah. Go ahead and put a glove on. Just mix that together. I taught my son-in-law how... Hey, Zaina. I taught my son-in-law how to make um, keto dinner rolls earlier. He made some beautiful dinner rolls. Um, we had those last night with our meal. Last night I made a sirloin tip roast, the asparagus in the um, with olive with the uh, almond flour and um, put in the air fryer, and pureed cauliflower, and that was our meal last night with the dinner rolls. Um, the dinner rolls that I've made are in the group, if you're interested in those and didn't see one of my previous lives. All right, guys, we've got that in mixed in pretty well. All right, let me get some room so I can show you what's next. Hang on one second. Just move stuff out of our way. Guys, if you um, get any value out of my little cooking, please share it out. Sharing is caring. I appreciate it. Remember, tell me where you're from. If you're catching me live, what did you do today? All right, guys, here is the, um, the cabbage. Can you see it if I put it down? And I'm looking at the cabbage and looking at how the leaf falls. And I am just gonna just loosely, carefully pull off the leaf. 
just like that. And it takes a little patience because I'm not trying to tear them up. But you're just going to pull them off. And I've pulled off quite a few already. But you're just going to pull them, pull them off. All right. Um, and that's just so that I can make them into rolls. And again, I'm looking. And occasionally, um, where I didn't cut the core all the way through, they get a little stuck. And so I just have to work with them and get them to where it breaks apart. And I'm just carefully peeling it into a leaf, okay? So I've already done that, but wanted to show you that it is doable. All right, now we're going to start just stuffing our egg rolls. Um, and so as I stuff these, I, um, I like to put it into the middle and then pull in a side and pull in a side. Can you see that? And then roll it on around, okay, to make the roll, okay? Hey, Nancy, how are you? Hey, Lori. All right, so I'm gonna do a few of those, but then I need to layer in my uh, Instapot. So just give me a second, let's do a few of these. Again, I'm folding in two sides and then rolling and le leaving it on the seam where it's down. Do you guys like cabbage rolls? Hello, Michelle. Do you like cabbage rolls? Or do you prefer stuffed peppers? Which do you like? My crew do not like bell peppers, so. But when I'm doing it for myself as a vegetarian, I like, well, I like them both, but I really like a pepper because it's just easy to deal with. And if you've been following me, you know I'm lazy keto, so I don't count anything but keeping it low carb. And that's what I'm interested in, is low carb. Again, I'm tucking the sides and rolling. Okay, and I have two, four, five. Let's do one more, and then we'll stuff it in the pot, and I'll see how many more I can do for my pot. Really? Well, that's awesome. See? It, it was meant for you to do that for her. That's wonderful. Is she on a low carb diet with you, Michelle? Here we're doing it together. Except for I'm a vegetarian and my husband is not. Hey, Shirley. Yeah, you're like me, Nancy. I knew you and I are kindred spirits, I do believe. All right. So now, guys, I'm going to just make sure that that oil is, in, is mixed in. This is my sauce again. And I'm going to add probably about a cup of sauce into my pot. Now, I like to add a leaf to the bottom just to prevent, help further prevent sticking. Just a little more of the sauce. And now I'm gonna put my rolls down in there. And I should get four rolls right now. 
If they were smaller, I could probably get five, but again, I don't want them to stick. I'm gonna pour a little sauce over these. Okay. And then I'm gonna add another leaf, again, because I'm gonna do a second layer, and I don't want them to stick. Now I'm going to add my next layer, and I'm gonna make another, um, another one. Let's see, let's put that out of the way. Grab another leaf here. Well, see, um, Cynthia, there you go. It's not that hard to just throw the cabbage into the microwave and then roll it. That doesn't feel full to me, so I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna add the rest of this. Let's see, four, eight, I'm trying to think of how many people I've got for dinner. I will not be joining them. I am on a 60 hour fast. So I will not eat again until Wednesday. All right, so let me show you how this is layered in here. Let's see if you can see it. I don't wanna tilt it too much. Can you see that? Okay, and I don't wanna smush it down because I don't want them to be smushed down. And I'm just gonna add the rest of my sauce into there. Excuse my drip of the sauce. I apologize. I know people get really upset. All right. So now, guys, I'm just going to stick this into my Instant Pot. Move it closer so you can see. Welcome, Wanda. Is it a beautiful day in North Carolina? you've watched me before typically I put it on high pressure and let it go but this time I am going to adjust my pressure to low okay and then I want to have it at 20 minutes all right and now I'm going to just move it over to the side now after the 20 minutes oh you know, I love it when it's just a little bit cooler so you can enjoy the outside. But after the 20 minutes on the um, pot, I am going to let it naturally release for about 10 minutes. Then I will do the quick release to finish off this, the um, pressure. And then at that point, it should be ready. Now, I see that, uh, Michelle, you have one. Um, but you're afraid to use it. It really is simple. And as long as you ensure that the top um, little button goes down and everything is naturally released, it's fine. However, if you are afraid of your Instant Pot, then you can bake these at 350 for about 40 minutes. Um, do the same kind of thing. Um, put your sauce, a couple of cabbage leaves, your cabbage down, put the sauce on top. Uh, you can cover it with tin foil if you want, and then bake that for about 40 minutes at 350. But 20 minutes versus 40 minutes, or, um, you know, for me, that's a pretty big deal around here because um, I like to try to get things out of my way and cook in the stages. But let me show you these rolls that my son-in-law did. I'm so proud of him. All right, guys, look at the rolls, keto rolls. Now, my husband has already been in here and taken a little snack out of one of them. Around here, they don't last long. Um, but my son-in-law is here this week, and he wants to learn to do some of the keto meals. So um, I hope maybe he'll come live with me one day um, during the week while he's here. So... There you have it, guys. We have already made 
um, cabbage rolls and they're on for dinner. I hope that you have enjoyed. Thank you, Michelle, for sharing that. And I hope that you will venture out and let me know um, how your wife likes it. Let me know. I will, I will look forward to hearing from you. Let me know if you choose to do it in your Instant Pot. Um, you can always PM me any questions. Guys, if you want this recipe or any of my other recipes or hundreds of other people's recipes, um, I will happily add you to the group where I post the recipes, but we have to be Facebook friends. So if you're already in the group, it's hashtag um, bite club and this will be cabbage rolls. If you're not in the group, Facebook friend me and a private message me to add you to the group and you will get access to these recipes. I'm always happy. Hello, Leanne. Hello, Tracy. Um, I'm always happy to answer any questions uh, that I can about keto. Um, and, and I only do lazy keto. Let me clarify because someone asked me about macros. I don't have a clue. I will help you find the answer, but I don't know. I do lazy keto and it's working for us. And that's what we're all about. Wanda, this is such a great recipe. You should absolutely try it. Michelle, any questions you have, I'm telling you, just ask away. And you're right, Michelle. It is much cooler to do it in the Instant Pot than in your oven. So that is a good point. Absolutely. Um, so, guys, um, if you are not catching me live, the live button is not above me. Um, put hashtag replay and again tell me where you're coming from tell me do you like stuffed cabbage or do you prefer peppers stuffed peppers or either or neither which one um, and please share this out I really do appreciate everyone sharing and I hope you get value and I hope you have a blessed day again welcome to Donna's kitchen come back and join us again for next time if you want to be notified when Nana comes live, tap on my face and turn on the notifications. If I'm not live, there'll be three little buttons way over here. You can click on those to turn on the notifications. See you later, guys. Leanne, tell my granddaughter, Mwah, I love her. Bye, guys.